Salutations fellow YouTubians, welcome back to some more Let's Play Medieval. In the last part, you know what happened last time, okay? I got trolled by a boulder and apparently a gargoyle is a hero, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, that last episode, oh my god, man. Just, wow. <laughs> Sum up, I screamed and there was a lot of... There's a lot of hilarious moments, even though I kind of summed it up already, but whatever. Alright, let's go. Down we go. All we've got to do here is just push this block. Hmm, block pushing. Very interesting. That must be pretty damn strong in order to, you know, push a giant concrete block. That's a heart. Up we go, Mr. Light. It kind of reminds me of, um, the, uh, that one boss in Paper Mario. You know, like the first Paper Mario. You know, the boss where you have to, uh, you know, what's this? Ooh, okay, I'll, t I'll take some daggers. You know, the one where you have to, um, you know. You know what I mean? If you play Paper Mario, you know what I'm talking about. Even though I ironically have not. I know about it because of Chugger. But again, who doesn't watch Chugger? Chugger is awesome. Inspirations, man. Okay, I'm gonna get out the crossbow for this because, spoiler alert, we have a boss fight. Kind of reminds me of that Windows, like, on those old, win old windows, you know, you had that spike ball just bomb all over the place. I don't know. The demon's heart is only vulnerable points. I don't know, how about we just put some fire on him, you know? And Oh boy. Okay, first boss of the game. This is pathetically easy if you have the crossbow. Oh my god. Uh, no. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Uh. Oh god. Yeah, you have to hit him when his heart's exposed or else you can't damage him. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? Jump! Alright, you good? Okay, he, he's so athletic, in fact he's better glass, but okay. Attack! Do, do, do. This is the most exciting boss fight ever, oh god. Ah! Out! Okay, you have to mash the button. A little bit of button mashing there to escape. <laughs> Quick time events. This was God of War before God of War. It makes sense, you know. So Daniel looks a little bit like Kratos if you think about it. Alright, I think I can get him. Come on. Yeah! That's my record for beating this guy. Awesome. You are heartless, my friend. Hmm. I actually... I've actually never seen what happens if you go... Oh, I thought you can go back then. There'd be like money or something, but whatever. Da 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 da! We got a key! That whole boss fight does remind me a bit of Zelda. I mean, this prob this Medieval is probably the closest thing you get to a Zelda game on PlayStation. I mean, you think about it, you know, outside of personality, Sir Daniel is a lot like Link. I'm not saying he's a ripoff, but I'm just saying. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. You, kind sir, you deserve to be on the top floor. <laughs> if you don't get what I'm saying, watch the last episode. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even notice that until I till just then. Oh my god. Anyway. Hello there, Mr. Blacksmith. Ah, Fortescue. What's this I hear about that Archcad Zarok still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. Never <laughs> <laughs> mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my warhammer. It'll smash any warhammer. Don't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. 
How do you eat the walnuts for a statue? Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I love this guy. Not a few heads for old Stanier Iron Hewer, eh? He called his Warhammer Stanya Iron Fewer. Like, or is he called Stanya Iron Fewer? Or maybe they're both called Stanya Iron Fewer. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, we have Hummer. Smack with the Hummer. Okay, anyways. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, Gargoyle Hero. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, I didn't even notice that until this Let's Play. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm never gonna. That's never gonna. I'm always gonna say that. Anyways, the fog is lifting. The, the, f the flag is lifting. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I'm glad I still have that backup save file just in case it's a failure, like the computer crashes or something. Seriously, I was expecting it to crash right there, but whatever. Anyway, let's return to the graveyard. Let's go. This water is delicious. It tastes like H2O. Let's set up this hammer. <laughs> I love that. It just crushes them. It's like, hey, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, what the? Did the bridge collapse? Oh, God. Like, oh my god. Yeah, these got the hammer is so helpful, like what the The hell? He's like glitching through the floor. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Can I jump on that? I'm actually curious, I've never done that. I'm probably gonna die, but screw it. I actually want to know where this takes me. I actually do. I legitimately do not know what happens if you go down here. Um, was this a bad idea? This was. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's not. It's not. Okay. I actually don't know. I actually don't know about this. I should jump here. Okay. Ooh. I actually do not know about this. I didn't know about this. Oh, yeah. Alright, book. What's my reaction? Who's a clever skeleton then? Remember, there are many more secrets like this throughout the world of Galamea. Some offering more than just treasure. <laughs> like seriously, I didn't even know about that. Oh my god. Like, I was just curious. Oh my god. I'm guessing... Yeah, this is probably our way out. So I guess if you want some money, do that. Cam... God. I hate the camera in this game. Yeah, a bit of money. A bit of money. Uh, do we just jump down? Oh. Okay, I thought I fell in the water. Oh my god. So yeah, you saw my initial reaction to a secret. You get to see my reaction to me crushing these guys. These little stick figure zombies. That's weird. How does Daniel carry that? Oh my god. And I like how I keep varying, like, Dan, Daniel, Fortescue, Sir, whatever. This is the closest I can get to teabagging. <laughs> Even though I hate teabagging, it is just so annoying. Anyway. Yeah. Crush your hand, get a coin. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is just so overpowered. Oh, my God. Unfortunately, these guys don't fill up the chalice that much, but they're getting a little scrawny, eh? A little scrawny men. Alright. I thought I could jump on the tombstone. Can I smash this? That makes this like squishing noise. <laughs> yeah, whacking a, a coffin with a giant hammer makes this noise. <laughs> I don't even know. Alright. Oh god. Wait, can I charge this up? Okay, I don't want to do it there. Is there any- okay, I was about to say, where are the enemies? Whoa! Okay, I actually didn't know that attack existed, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my Jesus! Black Jesus! Okay, anyway, oh my bomb! I 
don't even know why I run away. The bomb doesn't kill you, it just repels you, you know? It's like a repel in Pokemon. We need them for the Zubats. I mean, come on, we all, like, whenever we played Pokemon back in the day, come on, you you didn't know what repels did, and you always encountered all the Zubats. Oh, man. And a Silver Shield. Basically, it takes more damage than the Bronze Shield, but I'm going to use the Bronze Shield anyways. Anyways. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. <laughs> Sorry, Gargoyle, I'm trying to kill you. <laughs> I don't mean to kill you, man, I just want some supplies. There we go. Okay, watch. I bet there's going to be some crossbow ammo coming up in a bit. I swear to God if there is. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Lock. Come here. God. These guys just do so much damage. Oh, my F and G is grim. Crush. Crush, crush, crush my crush. Just the crush the crush. <laughs> He's got a crush on you! Apparently Dan is in love with the viewers. Jump down. Oh, power attack. It's the headless zombie. Wait, why didn't it go? It did some damage. <laughs> yep, there's... I was wondering where you went. Mr. Hawaiian Shirt Zombie. Can you just imagine that, like, opening up, f just finding a zombie with, like, you know, a Hawaiian shirt? I swear there's something back here. And yeah, you might recognize this place from the first episode. Yes, they're recycling levels already, oh my god. And, ooh, I kind of want this. I, like, I just love how it goes higher pitch, that's great. Sorry, hand. And, yep. We murdered him. So let's use this key. Dun, 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 dun. I think I actually have that on my hard drive. Like that Zelda sound effect. Like, maybe I'll edit it in. I don't know. Because now I can put in sound effects, which is awesome. And when I eventually do a some stealth games, you know what sound effect I'm going to put in. Don't pretend you don't know what it's going to be. And it's kind of ironic because I've actually never played Metal Gear. <laughs> wow. Piece of grass counteracts that. Oh my god. Wolves. Yeah. Peter's going to be on our ass. There we go. Oh wait. Okay. Some, some precision walking right here. Yes, not precision platform, just precision walking. I I don't know if I'd call this a platform, to be quite honest. Like it has some platforming elements, but it's more of a adventure action game. It's action man. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Want to be faster on your feet? Want to be able to bash down walls by charging into them? All you have to do is defeat the evil guardians of the graveyard and gain this new ability. You will never know why you left the grave without it. Well, I have to, it's required. Is there anything back around here? No, there's not. What was that bridge? Okay, no. Okay, watch. I bet there's a secret back there I missed it. I swear to God, if there is. <laughs> Hopla. Yep. Grab this for no apparent reason. Is there any secrets around here? Nope. What's that? Undertakers. Okay. And here's the chalice, but we can't access it yet. I believe there's an enemy coming up. Yep! Oh, that's him flying. Nope. Hey. Nope. Mr. Zombie. There we go. Mr. Johnny Zombie. So does that mean every zombie is called Johnny? I'm, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I just I squashed his already non-existent head. Yeah. 
That explains why he's like missing all the time. He can't see. Then why is he, you know, active? You know, he doesn't have a brain. Then again, I, I know jack shit about zombies. Okay. Uh. Oh god. I believe it's this way we go up. And yeah, you just press circle there to hop up. Oh come on! Ugh. What? What the? Um, I was about to say, did the game just glitch up? That was weird. Jesus Christ. Okay, I want that. Yeah, even if your health is full, it will go to one of your bottles. Like, the health, the energy bottles, which is nice. And that's the way we have to go, but I want to get the chalice because this is a 100% run. <laughs> oh, come on! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fortescue, if you want to bath so much, just ask. Even though I bet just going in a bath would drown him anyway. Okay, that's the other way then. I swear to God, I bet this way. Oh God. No, come back here. There we go. Okay, now he get the challenge. I mean, of course, there was that one guy right there. Up. I just slap myself in the face. Hey. Jump. Okay. I think there's something around here. I have the chalice. Screw you guys. Ooh, money. <laughs> like, screw you guys. Ooh, money. Okay, there's a merchant down there. I don't really need him. I need that health. Okay. Normally, I have to push the block, but screw it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody jumped in! Oh my god! Jump! Okay, good. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. That was worth it just for the zombie falling in with me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there we go. Do -do 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 -do. Prepare to battle the guardians of the graveyard. And it's an accurate text. Bronze dogs. Yeah, whoa, that did a lot. Holy crap! Yeah, this is a really annoying fight just because. Oh, just because of this. But the hammer makes quick work of them, I guess. Okay, come here, Miss the dog. Oh god, I hate this boss fight. So it's not so much that it's hard; it's just tedious. Oh, like I hit him. Oh my god, my thing is at five health. My shield has five hit points left. Oh god. So this is gonna be like a Pokemon where you have that dunu dunu dunu. I don't know. Or it's gonna be like Shininja where you only have one HP. Oh, damn. oh damn it, I hate how they hit you when they're like sparkly. Yeah, I, got, I got a hit on him. Oh. I wanna preserve the shield. Come here, doggy. Okay, there we go. Come here. I'm not gonna kill you, I'm just walking around with a hammer over my head. Ooh. Yeah, they don't, they share a health bar, so, like, neither of them, I'm fairly sure, like, not, they both, I'm pretty sure that if you kill, if you just get a zero, they both die, like, it's not like, they have 300 health each. Yep, it's true. The evil guardians of the graveyard have been vanished. You have claimed the daring dash ability. Use it well, so damn. So basically all you do, double, double tap triangle, you can dash now. I don't know how you get that by killing dogs, like some statue dogs, but yes, we are fast now, sort of. And oh my god, this ability is so helpful. And Mr. Gargoyle, speak. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Very inviting, I gotta say. I hate. I like how he's just the bodyguard there. So, like when someone from out from outside the necropolis comes in, he's probably shitting himself. Like, oh God, man, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I'm probably just going to do this whole Heroes thing and then I'm going to end it off. And probably end this recording session as well. Oh, he doesn't talk to me. 
Dude, I want to talk with you. Where's my money? What does he actually say? It's oh, he just does that. Shopping mall. Uh, who do we talk to now? Do we talk to this guy again? Yes, we do. Okay, what's he got for us this time? I got your hammer, mate. Bravo, Fortescue! Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack for now. There's but toast I in this you, age. Yeah, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Hmm, why the hell not? Ooh, money. Nice. <laughs> I just love the way Sedan talks, it's awesome. It kind of it kinda of sounds like Kenny from South Park. So, does that make Zarok Cartman? <laughs> I'm actually just trying to imagine that now, like, just trying to imagine Zarok with Cartman's voice. <laughs> oh my god. Like, honestly, I'm actually, next time Zarok makes an appearance, I'm actually tempted to just dub over it with, like, Cartman quotes, like, respect my vatahead, stuff like that. I am actually really tempted to do it now. <laughs> I actually really want to do it. Like, oh, oh my god, that, yeah, I'm, at, I'm so doing that, if I remember to. Because I'm pretty sure his next appearance is, is his boss fight at the end of the game. Spoilers! So, yeah, in five directions, oh my god. We can go to the Enchanted Earth, or Scarecrow Fields. Where could we be going to, you may be wondering. How about... We go back to Dan's crypt! <laughs> Wanna go out of bed? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this episode. I'm gonna end this recording session off. And next time let's play Medieval, we're gonna be going to... Improv drum roll. Scarecrow Fields. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Peace out.